how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out The House of the Rising Sun. Very, very old song, this one, but we're kind of basing this version on the animals one. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of playing it. A very, very simple kind of strummy one. I'll show you a finger style version and more like the original animals version where you do this kind of interesting raked picking like I was doing there at the beginning. So uh, first of all, intro chords. So, uh, well, actually, before we get to that, we need to talk about the time of the song. So it's in 6-8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That will be the count for the rhythm. Okay, now it's definitely easiest for this one. The easiest version of it is just to do down strums on 1 and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In 6-8 you have two strong pulses on beats 1 and 4, so you get that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So in a bar I'm going to be strumming twice, okay? Now the chord sequence at the beginning is A minor, C, D, F, A minor, E, A minor, and E. One more time through that intro sequence. A minor, C, D, and F. A minor, E, A minor, and E. Okay, I'm hoping that you know most of those open chords. Interestingly, most times this is played with the small F, just the one on the thinnest four strings. We don't need to worry about doing a whole bar chord, but of course you can if you choose to do the big bar chord F, you totally can do it that way. Um, or you could do the little one with the thumb playing the F over the top as well. That would be completely valid. Let's have a look at the verse chord sequence now. So we've got the A minor, the C in D chord F. The A minor, the C to E for two bars. And it's A minor, the C of D for F. And A minor, I, E, I'm A minor. And then we got that little chord sequence at the beginning. D to F, A minor. E, A minor to E. Let's have that sequence one more time. So, there A minor to C in D to F. The A minor to C to E for two bars. And it's A minor to C of D for F. An A minor, the E, and then it's the intro sequence, which is A minor to C, to D, to F, A minor, A minor, and it goes around that sequence over and over again. So you can see that that was kind of the most basic strumming that we could possibly do for that, just strumming twice per bar. Remembering it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be the feel of it, okay? And you could do, some people like to do all down strums, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're just doing like little strums on every beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and if you do that, you want to make sure you're accenting the one and the four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. And the advantage of doing that is if you want to get really into it, then you can start strumming some ups as well. So, one, two, three, four. But it's all about keeping that one, two, three, four, five, six. And re then you can really explore where you put those up strums. There's not really a proper set pattern for doing it that way. Um, so that's definitely something to explore as well. So just the straight two down strums the bar, or the more complicated six down strums the bar with the accents on one and four. 
Now, when I very first learned this song, I learned it as a finger style version. So I was doing this little one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three. And if you're getting into finger style, that can be a really effective thing. So let's get to a close up now. I'm going to show you the finger style one, then I'm going to show you the more animals style with the picked rake. So if you want to do it finger style, the thumb is going to play the bass note of each chord. Fingers one, two, and three are going to go on the thinnest three strings. And the pattern is very simple. It'll be thumb, one, two, three, two, one. Thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, second finger, first finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you definitely want to get it down just on that one chord first. This one's on the A minor. Okay, let's have a look at what happens going through the chord sequence though. So A minor to C, thumb's going to still be playing the fifth string. Now when we move to a D chord, the fingers are all staying the same, but thumb needs to move over to the fourth string. And thumb will stay on the fourth string for the F as well. A minor, C, and now for the E chord, thumb's going to move over to the thickest string. A minor, C, D, F, A minor, E, A minor, to E. Okay, so the big trick there is just really making sure that you get the rhythm of those notes nice and solid, keep your timing steady, and that the thumb is moving over with the bass notes of the chords. Okay, that's the big deal for that. For those of you that are a little more adventurous and want to try doing the rake with the pick, the easiest way to do it is to start playing it in time. So it'll be this, one, two, and three, four, Five, six, one, two, and three, four, five, six. Fifth string, four, three, two. First string, second string, third string. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, C. Same pattern for D. You're going to have to play the D string twice. One, two, and three, four, five, six. Same for the F. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, four, five, six. One. Otherwise, it's bass notes now playing the thicker string. Then we're starting on the fourth string. Third string, second string, first, second, third. The reality of it is a slightly different. This is bass note, then a little strum, kind of, but it's raking. It's not just like a regular strum, it's a slow strum. I'm pressing quite hard to get a little kind of individual connections with the strings. I've been playing and teaching this song for a long, long time and played many different versions of it. Uh, the finger style one I think works really well, the strummed one works really well. If you want to get into the raking version, I definitely recommend doing it as I showed you, playing it in time for a little while first, because it's very easy for the, the rake to become too fast and then it rocks the boat rhythmically and it doesn't kind of sit nicely. So I'd practice playing it in time first and only when you're really confident with that and you relax, 
you're still kind of playing it in time, but it seems to open it out. You know, on the E chord, you end up strumming all of the strings pretty much, which, you know, the timing of it doesn't really work. But if you've practiced doing it in time, it'll, it'll sit right, it'll feel right. And it's, it, the feel of it's really important with rhythm, of course. It's the most important thing is that the, the rhythm feels right. So I uh, hope you have a lot of fun playing this song, and I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.